We're at a critical moment. We know the energy transition is underway and we know electrification will play a central role in decarbonization and building a more sustainable future. We can contribute here not just by delivering equipment, not just by providing technology, but also by exchanging best practices around the world and by that accelerating the know-how exchange and how technology is deployed at scale. Young people or people under 30 are half the world's population. We're not only the most impacted by outdated energy systems, but we're also the most fluent in the innovations driving change. We're growing up in an era of global connectivity and AI and social media, and we have unique skills to organize, build, and implement solutions. It's important to rethink the energy transition and placing youth at the center of it, where we are not just beneficiaries of this transition, but we actually drive it. There's all sorts of new opportunities that we need to communicate and socialize in different ways so that it can be acceptable to advance and meet the energy needs of the future in a sustainable way. Investing in access to electricity for emerging markets and developing economies is not just in their own interest, it's in the interest of the global economy. Why? Because the emerging markets, developing economies are the locomotives of the global economy. What works for Stockholm might not work for Nairobi or New York or New Delhi. And we need solutions that are not just scalable, but truly implementable and sensitive to local realities. To have technology available is one thing, but to deploy it really at scale in the appropriate ways across the world on platform technology, that is what really makes an impact and the difference.